So we're at Hawkridge Reservoir today. Uh, it's a small, one of our small sites for Wessex water. Uh, it's around 30, 34 acres around that size. Um, as you can see from the lake, lovely scenery. Um, there's plenty of fish to be had in here. It's stocked very well um, and it is a good, good floating line water. Going into mid-season, you, you do have to sort of switch up a little bit. Uh, the fish do go a little bit deeper. Obviously, we've got a bit of cloud cover today. We are expecting some sun later on, so we may have to fish on something like a die three or a die five. Um, just, just, just tracking the fish down in the water. But gem generally speaking, starting off with, they are in the top three foot of, of the water. Uh, so there's a real mix, mix of uh, trout in, in here. There's seven different species of trout. Uh, so we've got Spartix, which we've we've recently introduced. We were the first in the UK to to introduce them into a water. Um, obviously, you've got your rainbows, your browns, but we've also got goldens, uh, tigers, blues. There's a real real variety, so you never know exactly what you're going to catch when you hook up. So you you will find certain species do tend to lie a little bit deeper in the water column. So things like browns, tigers, uh, Spartix, they generally tend to be caught like a little bit deeper down um, whereas your rainbows generally you're, you're catching them sort of all through the water column but if, if you want the, the, the chance of a different species then certainly certainly fish you know a bit deeper down. Uh, fly wise your, your cat's whiskers, montanas that sort of stuff, buzzers, dialbacks they work really well here we do in May get some really good hatches come across the water so uh, you can have some some real good top water stuff. Uh, so we'll probably start off high up, sort of first three foot of the water, uh, whether that is, is on, on the nymphs or whether it, that'll be pulling maybe a couple of blobs on an intermediate just underneath. Uh, as the day goes on, we're expecting a bit of sun, so we will be dropping down, um, just just tracking the fish. So the, the other day when I was out, they did drop down to about seven, eight foot, so it was just a case of following them. So there we have it, that's the first fish of the day. Um, we've only been fishing for about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. Absolutely stunning Hawk Ridge rainbow trout. Look at the fin on that, the paddle is absolutely amazing. What a beautiful fish. Now, Hawk Ridge Reservoir is a catch and keep reservoir, so this one will be going on the table for tea tonight. The best advice I could probably give you is come and chat to us in the lodge. Um, before before you start your fishing you know we, we are told on a daily basis what is working where is working so for the most up-to-date information you're best off coming and chatting to us Yes, yeah, so we're fishing buzzers down by the inlet at the moment. Uh, there's quite quite a few fish down down here. As you can see, this one has took just a little little dial back with a hot head on it. Um, yeah, we're we're steadily catching catching a few fish now. It's giving you a bit of a run round, isn't it? Yeah. Keeps wanting a dive underneath the boat, doesn't it? <laughs> it's a nice fish again, taking on a on a little nymph there. It's about ready to uh, about ready for netting now. Oh, happy, 
nice fish that. Uh, so on, on the point, fish have moved a little bit deeper, so what I've done is I've stuck a bead, bead headed uh, lure on, on the point. Still got nymphs further up the line, but it's the little mini, mini bead headed lure that has worked on this fish. So the rules here, we've, we don't operate a catch and release. Uh, we offer a five fish ticket, which is for £25. If you're over 60, that drops to £22. Uh, we, as I said, we don't, we don't offer catch and release um, because we, we believe that isn't what our clientele want. We've, we've done surveys in, in the past and the feedback from that has been sort of in favour of, of keeping it that way. So this one, I think it's actually taken uh, the point fly. Once again, they are, they're not right on the top. They've got like a little stalking bug. Actually, it's the second dropper. It's stalking bug and the second, second dropper is taken. But it's... Uh, I think what's happening is that the water temperature is... You know, we're, we're mid-season here. The water temperature's got a bit, a bit high. It's probably sort of... 19, 18, 19 degrees, and the fish are actually up here on the inlet just trying to keep cool. So they're all accumulating just under this little inlet bridge. But it's proven great sport. Too, because I'm getting a bit caught up in my fishing line here. Another great little rainbow trout here from Hawk Ridge. Uh, fell to a little olive stalking bug. Um, we seem to have found what's working. So we just just come back up towards the middle of the lake. Uh, we've lost lost the clay cover now, so we've just ch changed over to a fast intermediate and a couple of blobs, and we're back amongst the fish again. Uh, so as I said, I'm on a fast intermediate here with a 12 foot leader, at about six foot. Got a single blob there, and as my point fly. I've got another blob, which is a dark claret colour. That seems to have been work, working for us today. We've had a few fish on that now. Um, it, it's a, it, early on we were catching on nymphs, high, high up in the water, sort of top two foot of, of the water. We've had to drop down now and, and, and fish, fish on the blobs. Uh, so the season normally runs from the start of March to the end of October. Obviously this year been a little bit different with the, the COVID stuff that we've been having. We're going to be looking at extending the season uh, for, further, further into maybe November or December this year. Jake, what makes fishing at Hawkridge so special? Uh, I think it's the variety more than anything. You know, we stock seven different species of trout into the lake, um, so you never quite know exactly what what you're going to be landing when you hook a fish. Uh, what would your top tips be for fishing Hawkridge? Keep on the move, keep drifting. 
you, you can anchor up, um, but generally speaking, it's, it's a deep res. There's a lot to search. So just, just it, and even if you're not catching straight away, don't think there's not, not fish in the area because there probably are, they're just at a different depth. 